When you go into an Italian restaurant, you get chunks of garlic like this that's crunchy and not cooked. Is this glass of the other? No good. It doesn't work. So, we're going to get some garlic nice and thin. You also want to put me good fellas. You understand why we call it good fella garlic? If I had a razor blade to do it, forget about it. I'd be doing it with a razor blade. But anyway, here we go. All right, so we're going to get our garlic in the pan. Boom. Look at that. The pan's actually hot this time. Something works out. Beautiful. All right, so we got our garlic brown. To that, we're going to add some fresh parsley. And we're making that marinade sauce for the eggplant rolling team. We are going to do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. That's all right. Louis is barking. Maybe somebody's coming in. We got any more guests coming? A little more pepper. On water. Here we go. All right. We're going to add our crushed tomatoes. Whoa. There we go. Medium. Yum, yum. Look at that. Thank you so much. All right. While our marinade sauce is going, I'm going to show you guys how to roll the eggplant. Look, like I said, I would never buy a pre-made cutlet in a restaurant, but I'm home, I don't feel like frying, I don't feel like dirty, it's a great shortcut. This takes five minutes, eight minutes at maximum to make. You buy the cutlets already done, okay? But check it out, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the filling. We got some got there in the bowl. We're gonna do a little bit of salt. We're gonna do a little bit of pepper if I can find it. Here we go, a little bit of pepper. All right, we are going to add some, a little bit of mozzarella in there, right? All right. We're going to add a lot of mozzarella. We're going to add a little bit of fontina, and we'll add the fontina. And we're going to do a little bit of basil, if I have we go, a little bit of basil, and very simple grated cheese. You see grated cheese over there, Parmesan? Wait, never mind, I got it, I got it, thank you. A little bit of Parmesan, actually a lot of Parmesan cheese. And the thing too, when you add Parmesan, don't put a lot of salt. That may look like... I'm putting a lot of salt and stressing, but believe me, nothing really comes out of these things. But a little bit of salt is going to bring up the flavor of the cheese. Very simple, guys. We got the mozzarella. Some people crack an egg in it to bind it. I don't see the need for it. I kind of like it. I like when it kind of oozes out a little bit. Very easy to make. I'm going to show you guys how to roll these. So look, watch how easy this is. Roll out your egg. Lay out your eggplant. 
Lay out your eggplant. Okay, very easy. Watch how quick and painless this is. Get yourself a spoon, any type of silver pan to bake what we do. Bada bing. Bada bang. Here we go. Look at this, very easy. So, look how easy this is, guys. Very easy. Just literally stuff it. A little ricotta, mozzarella, fontina. Again, you can add the egg. You know, I'm not a big fan of it. It does work. I never did. It's just something we never did. Come on, what does the egg actually do? The egg will actually, that's a good question, actually. The egg will actually bind it and kind of hold it together more. So when it bakes, it won't kind of ooze. But I kind of like that kind of oozy, creamy goodness. Yeah, nice when it's coming out. The bottom, so the eggplant don't stick. Forget about it. This is going to be unbelievable. Okay, check it out. Just give your pan a little shake, a little spin. Get it nice and coated. And watch this. Done. Done. Now the only problem with this being so quick is I gotta make more food because we have a half hour show. But that just means you guys eat more, so yeah. enjoy. Yeah. Right? Manja, manja. A little eggplant. Check this out. This is one of my favorite dishes right here, man. It's just unbelievable. Here we go. Look at that. Mm. Now look, this again, one of those things at home that you can do very easily. If you're going to buy the eggplant already done and already cooked, go to a really good Italian spot that has fried eggplant already done. Buy yourself a few eggplant cutlets. Make the ricotta mix. Get yourself a little bit of sauce. And you got a delicious meal in 10 minutes. We're just going to sauce these, cheese them, get them in the oven. And I'm going to show you our next dish. It's going to be a little garlic and oil and broccoli. Something my family's done since I'm a kid. Um, it's just a real simplistic peasant dish that, if done right, is one of it, just an amazing, beautiful pasta dish. And look how quick it is. Look, part of this too is, man, I think why nobody cooks anymore. People are afraid. It takes time. People don't realize how simple things can be. And there's ways to simplify things. Look, it's not like it was years ago, you know, with frozen stuff. Not that I would use, but look, when you're home, there's nothing wrong with going to a store and freezing things. Technology is different nowadays. It wasn't like it was 20 years ago. There's, you know, they use these blast chillers and blast freezers and cryovac, and it's just, it's a different way. And if uh, your house and you're cooking, just do it, man. If it's easy enough to do it, as long as you can cook a good meal for your family and bring everybody together, that's all that matters. But anyway, we got our rollantini. We're going to cheese it again. A little Parmesan. Minky, look at that. A little mutt just on top of each one. JP, get your butt up here. Come on, get up here, boy. You're going to help me do a little bit of Yeah. Now I'm going to start doing some yeah. rolls. I'm right here. You mean you're right here? All right, so hang down with me for a few minutes. We're going to go right into our next dish. Spaghetti with garlic and oil and broccoli. Now, like I said, this is something my family's been doing since I'm a kid. Um, it's a very simplistic dish. Very easy dish. So check it out. Again, something very short. You can even buy a bag of frozen broccoli. This is fresh broccoli that we just poached off. We cooked it, we chopped it up. So, we're going to get a little bit of olive oil in a pan. I'm going to get a lot of olive oil. Right, we're going to let that heat up with some garlic. JP, have you some yeah. fresh red pepper? A little bit. Ah, we're going to do a lot of garlic. Oh, man. You know what? Let's get crazy. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to get some garlic in there. A little bit of crushed red pepper. Meek you. So, Joe, what kind of rice rolls are you making today? All right, we're going to do a uh, Sicilian style. What is Sicilian style? What is it? That's the regular Sicilian style it's with the meat, the peas, and the mozzarella. That's the traditional one. Yeah, but don't you have, a little, you have a little twist on your balls, right? I do, a little twist, a little bit. What we do is we got a uh, buffalo chicken rice ball. All right, but what about the Sicilian? Now, traditionally, it's done with ground beef, but what do you do? What we do is we want to get the semen away? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I <laughs> It's only us, right? It's only us. <laughs> no, what happened else was about like years ago, about 40, 50 years, my family's been making these rice balls, and they always Basically, I was even born almost. That was one. Right, because my mother was doing it for a long time. You know what I mean? I know, my mother and my father, they did together. That, that's that the thing. The traditions, <laughs> the traditions that we have and do are just, it's a lifetime. I'm gonna bring, I know, you guys can hear me bring up my Uncle Pete a million times. God rest his soul. I mean, we used to do everything in Virginia. We would talk for hours upon hours, I mean, hours on the phone and come up with just craziest, wackiest ideas you could possibly even imagine. And this is something that our family has done. I mean, we've done this 
I'm 50. This guy's got to be about 70. So <laughs> He's 100% right. Yeah. It's all about the fact that when you bring it together, everybody comes. Exactly right. You know, when I was a kid and I was growing up in Bensonhurst, the biggest thing was you would smell the food. Ah, oh, forget it. You'd be Absolutely. calling their names, hey, Absolutely. Joe Wood! Yeah. And everybody knew it was dinner time. So this is something where if I'm making it for my family, I sit there and I watch to see their fit before I even eat. That's just the way I go. That's what I like. Absolutely. When I was a kid, my grandmother grew up on Mulberry Street. We used to go down there, just walking through the building, you hear the neighbors outside, people on their balconies, walk through the street, hey, come on, man, I hear grandma, there's a piece of bread, here's some taste of cake. By the time they get home, I'd be hiding from the floor, right? I'd have, have a meal on the way home, before I go home. Yeah, well, let me good tell good you, time. Good if you, if you were late for dinner, forget it. No, you were late for dinner. Let me tell you something. My grandmother would take a wooden spoon from the back, I could be in the next room, and go around the window, through the porch, I think you still hit me in the head. I'm this woman did it, but unbelievable. I don't know how old well, she did. What about the other thing? If you didn't like when mom was cooking, you didn't eat, right? No, that's it. You didn't eat. That's, that's it. it. They didn't make six dinners. No, no. no. no Nowadays, no. I hear my friends talk, I got a little Billy in a walk with this guy. <laughs> but we made meatloaf, peas, pot, whatever it is. Whatever it was, you ate it. That was it. But then again, they really cooked back then, too. That's true. Everybody cooked That's the problem. with the fresh ingredients. Yes. You had yes. the different stores. You went to the meat store, you yes. went to the bread store, you went to the vegetable. Now you go to one store to get everything. Yeah, it was and nice, but you walked up 18th Avenue, and then you yeah. were able to go, and everybody, you knew when Joe, I, you yeah, knew When I was a kid, we went to one place for the pasta. We went to another place uh, for the bread. We went to another place for the meat. And you walked in, who got a a piece of bread? They knew your name. They knew your name. Exactly. They knew your name. These kids today, nothing. You walk in, they, they don't, don't even understand. understand. They no. don't even understand what's hanging no. out in the stoop. No, exactly right. Stoop, all right, so look, a bro a broccoli, I call it just about brown. Once it gets that color, boom, you got to do a little, nice. a little broccoli, medium. Yeah. Let's see if we can do this back to destroying your kitchen, John. All right, good. There we go. There you go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. We've been doing this for a minute. I don't know. Maybe you've been away a long time. I don't know if you heard. I don't do that no more. That joke never gets old. Um, all right, so this is going. Now the liquid in here is going to be, I'm going to add a little water and a little chicken stock. Now you can make your stock ahead of time. I just do it this way. Now when I was a kid, growing up, this was Italian Tupperware. You left over the <laughs> cheese containers, you left over the right. containers, the cool one, forget that. We didn't buy Tupperware. We used every container possible that you can save, and that was our Tupperware. You open and up it, the refrigerator, that's all you saw. Yeah, and you know what the ricotta yeah, was. You know what it is, yeah. You know what the ricotta was? Chicken soup. hundred <laughs> percent. You know, it was funny, because our neighbors, we used to, you know, we were younger, we used to give each other food, and we all get together and barbecue. And it's always like, why is he always giving me a container of ricotta? And then she opened it up, and it was like chicken soup, pot roast, whatever, whatever we can fit in there. So, nothing was better. We got nothing a little chicken better. base that's in there, and that's going to be the key to this dish. Again, if I was in a restaurant, I'd boil some bones, I'd make a stock. But I'm not, and I'm home, and you know what? I'm just trying to give you guys a quicker, easier way to do this. So here we go. Pasta with broccoli, garlic, and oil, a little olive oil, a little garlic, a little crushed red pepper, a little chicken stock. Can you hand me the pasta? Absolutely. Now check it out. I'm going against my own rule here, but because we're on camping stoves in a counter in the middle of the kitchen, normally what I would do is I would take the spaghetti, toss it in the sauce, let it cook for a minute. I never pour pasta over, but in this case, I'm going to do it. It's still going to be delicious. It's still going to work, but I'd rather let it sit and cook. But look at that. Nice. Check that out. Look at that. Why are you whispering like that? I know. Look at this guy. Check this to cook. Don't they say kiss to cook? Yeah. There we go. Check that out. Man. Um, Unbelievable. You got yourself a piece of, got any Italian bread anywhere? Oh, yeah. Piece of Italian yeah. bread, you dip that right in. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Forget about it. Come here. Check it out. Here we go. Who wants to taste this? Feed me. Come on. Hey. Here we go. Johnny, want a piece? Thank you. Oh, give me. A Come piece. on. I know you want the bread. Come on. Yeah. Billy, you want a piece? Take a piece. I think. Come on. Right. Here, he's first. Oh my God! It is. All right. Still like the little lady in the tramp. You know? Since you <laughs> want a piece of this, I'm drooling here. A little bread with a little juice. Forget about it. You want a piece? Uh, sure. Come on. Don't be shy. That's my boy Ian over here. Check it out. Here we go. Sneaky, if we all dripping on the pastry, so oh, whoa, whoa, you want a piece of bread and a little no, juice? You don't want no juice? Good, uh, enough juice. Mm. I'm good. Oh. All right, here we go. So we're just going to do that. Bada bing, bada bang. Oh, we're done. Let's get that on the table, somebody, and we're going to come right back with Sunny Day with Chef Clemente with JP in the house. John Paul Barone, the right yeah. 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 yeah.
Price Balls, by the way, guys, we are now on Amazon Fire TV and Amazon Fire Stick. I'll let you guys know all about that. Look at my Facebook page at Chef Clemenza or Clemenza Caserta Jr. And I'm going to post some pictures and some things from the show. I'm going to post the schedule that's going up. But now, Rice Balls. So, my boy was good enough. He knows, he knows what to do. I know you. To bring me a little spinach rice ball ahead of time. Nice. Try that. Come on. Let's mm -hmm. see. Cheers. So. Mm. Lots of pieces of this. Come mm. on. You two right there. Awesome. Try that. Forget about it. Not bad. Not bad, huh? That's unbelievable. All right. So, JP, why don't you show us what you do? Do some rice balls. Show me how we do with the rice. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use two eggs, a little grated cheese. So basically what you did was you cooked some rice. Yeah, so I cooked the rice. Okay. I put butter in the rice. Whatever you do. Salt, you do, salt and water? I, what I do is like anything you do with the rice, two cups of rice, four cups of water. You know, so you just got to... basically double. Right, you double it everything. Two to one. And then with the eggs, it depends, you know, you got a little more grated cheese. Then you're going to do your two eggs, your, your grated cheese, and you're going to put that right into the mixture. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get that in. You're gonna get it in nice. You want the rice to be all nice and nice. Now why do you mix the egg and the grated cheese together? Because it, this this pretty much binds everything. You want it to be a creamy type of like it almost has like a consistency of like a, a creaminess to it. So and basically that, by doing that too, you're gonna distribute the grated cheese a little bit more because it's already in the egg and it kind of goes through everything. That's exactly. Now right. have you add more salt, pepper to that or not? No, I, I usually add enough salt into the rice itself. That I don't need to, but you okay. want to make sure you want to make sure you're getting the egg all around. What kind of balls are you making? What are we all right, we're gonna do a Sicilian style one. We're nice. gonna do a, a spinach roll with mozzarella. So basically, rice, egg, grated cheese. Correct. And butter. Correct. That's all it, Clemenza. Right. Nice and easy. Now, the beautiful but, you know, thing about this is you can fill this with anything. Nutella. Sausage and peppers, uh, anything. That's Rock right. Cheese, you know, we were doing chicken. Right, we were doing like uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. We put all types of stuff. It was out of control. Reese's oh, peanut oh peanut you don't even you understand. Don't understand. That's my favorite thing in the world. Why don't you make Reese's peanut butter cup rice balls? You really like that? I'm just that serious. All right, we'll do it again. Yeah, the next time we the next do time it, they come to your house, I went friggin' oh, the peanut butter cup. Oh, yeah, to my house. I go to his house. You guys bring me out spinach rolls, pizza, focaccias. I love this one. He's the only guy I feed. All right, so the rice now, as you see, the rice. It's nicey nice. It's got it all around. It's all mixed. The now, is that a color every time? Nicey nice. nice? Is that like some kind of. Can we explain what that's nice my nice term? It's, it's, it's my thing. It is Italian. Nicey nice. nice. But you see, before it didn't look nicey nice, nice. Now it does. Now so it looks nice. It does look nicey nice. Get the meat on, right? Right over there. You got your pan over there hot. Pan's all hot. Here's all your stuff. Your olive oil. Here's your olive oil. I make a good assistant chef, don't I? You're supposed to dance. Yes, yes. A very good assistant chef. I thought you were talking to the crew. I feel like we're on the honeymoon. Can you call it apple? <laughs> zip, zip. <laughs> so now what we're going to do with the meat, you want to get a little olive oil, a little hot, then we're going to do the onion, the onion and the olive oil, and then you're going to saute the meat, and then you're going to do the spin, I mean the, uh, the sausage. Traditional Sicilian rice ball is done with ground beef and peas in the middle of the rice ball. I see where it goes throughout the rice ball, which I don't mind, but he's got a great twist, and that's why I fell in love with his balls the first time I tasted it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so basically, as Clem was saying, it was traditionally chopped meat. And you do it with uh, chopped meat and you do it with the peas. My mom, she figured she'd turn around and take a little, little different twist to it and put a little sausage in it. The meat. sausage gives a little more flavor. And I gotta tell you, one of the best really nice. Sicilian rice balls I've had. And you use what? The cheese and parsley sauce. Right? Cheese and parsley, I take it out of the case. We call it, what do we call it? Shibboleth or Lugina? How do you say that? Uh, you know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. We call it Shibboleth. You're gonna get your chopped meat in first. Alright, what else? Then we're going to get this all nice and nice again. Nice and nice. It's a nice nice. fancy culinary term for, again, <laughs> for really good. Look at this guy. You're making a mess over here. you got grated cheese everywhere. Actually, a lot of meat in there. All right. We're going to let that go. You're going to get your sausage in there, right? Yeah, well, you want to let this go a little bit because the sausage then comes in and then you're going to cook the sausage. You want What you want to do is you want to get this brown first. Then you're going to push it to the side. You're going to put your sausage in the middle. Okay, then you're what gonna are you making a meat donut over there? So what's gonna happen what is, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna, I got gotcha. mm. mm. you. Now you don't let that, you don't let that 
any seasoning, no salt, no pepper. I don't do anything in there. What we're gonna do is, once it gets down to a certain... Now, explain to the fire, because that cheese and parsley sausage has right. that cheese. it has cheesy, enough cheese and parsley, taste. it has enough salt, there's enough flavor going on in there right now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little marinara sauce, really a pan of sauce. We're gonna cook it down, we're gonna put a little grated cheese in there, and that's what's gonna bring the flavor out. That's what's gonna make it that, that really yep. good flavor that you're gonna taste through and through the rice ball. Alright, so we gotta take a break for a second. We're gonna let this cook down. We're gonna add some tomato sauce. We'll be right back with John Paul, the king of the rice balls over here. We'll be right back. Sunday dinner with me, Chef Clemenza. Our guest chef, JP, What's in the up, house guys? with his rice balls. Alright, we got the meat ground up. So yep, now we're making a Sicilian dough. rice ball. We're gonna put the sauce in, okay? You put about a can of sauce, a 28 ounce can. How about you use a pound of ground beef? I use a pound. I, what I try beef. to do is a pound with a half a pound of the sausage, because you you don't want to overkill it with the sausage. You want to have more of a chopped meat flavor, you know. All right. So now you're gonna let this cook down. You wanna lower that a little bit, let it cook. We'll do these spinach. Exactly what we're, we're gonna do. Uh, but one second, Clem, because yeah. you know what we gotta do. We gotta add the goodness in this. What's the goodness? We gotta make it nice and nice. The goodness is all over the stove, I'm going Oh. oh. So you so see how like that cook down. You see how that is, right, Clem? So now how much you do you want to let that cook down? How much to wear this? You no want it right. Okay. You want it. Because then what, what you're also going to do, you're going to put it into a strainer. You're not going to actually strain the whole thing because you want to... You want a little bit of the oil and the right. juice to get out. Because you don't want a wet, soggy bowl. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to show you a couple different kind of rice bowls now. I gotta, I'm going to do a cheddar and some other kind of cheese and broccoli. He's going to do a spinach one, a buffalo chicken one. I'm going to do a hot sausage. And whatever else comes to mind, we got a few things. Oh, blue well, cheese one. All right, so we got to take a break for a second. We're going to let this cook down. We're going to add some tomato sauce. We'll be right back with John Paul, the king of the rice bowls over here. <laughs> Sunday dinner with me, Chef Clementa, our guest chef host, Chef JP in the house, making some rice balls. Before you do that, our eggplant come out of the oven. And look at that, guys. Oh, oh man. man. Take this off. What you're gonna do is you want it to you want it to a little drain, but it's not too much. Hey, right, right. you can't rush it. You gotta go nice and nice. This way is a peasant food in, in Italy. Absolutely. What they used to do is they take all the meats at the end of the night, and then they take the rice, and then they make the rice balls. Basically, they were using everything, everything. So in Italy, in Italian it's called arancini, which means orange. So it's like a little orange. Arancini de riso, actually, an orange ball. Exactly right. So now. While that cools down, we got our Sicilian rice ball mix done. I'm gonna do a broccoli and cheese one. So basically, I'm gonna kick it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of ricotta to it, just to give it a little creaminess. I'm gonna add some broccoli to that. We're gonna mix that up. We're ready here. We're more than forget about it. We're gonna add a little nice melted cheese. Oh, forget about it. Look at that. Come on. Look at that. Mm, wow. Yum. Looks right delicious. In. All right, so there we go. We're gonna mix that together. Wow, oh, look at that, man! Forget. It. It's gonna be goodness. It is gonna be goodness. Is it? You know why? Because we're doing it nicey, nice. Nice. You're nice. taking your time. You put a little Absolutely. Too long. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you know, look, cooking is all about passion and love, and like a, you know, yeah. look. When when you cook and you just boom, 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 and you're very mechanical and you don't care, you know, take your time. Just learn to brown things right. and. Finesse things. Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy what you're doing. Even if you don't like it. I mean, look. Put a little love into it. Put a little love into it. That's what it's all about. It's all about the love. My aunt would always say to me, it's in your hands. It's in your hands. All right, so we got our broccoli and cheese rice ball. So to this now, I'm going to add a little bit of grated cheese. For this? All right, but we're going to do this and take it easy. Like you said, make it easy. You want to roll these first or you want to make another batch and roll them all at once? Get the chef here in this one. Well, you know, let's make a couple of these. Let's make it. We'll make it more we got the meat draining out. Yeah, all right, so there's our cheddar. Oh, the spinach we can do. You ready to go with this? 
Look at him out. You're gonna make the mix. Show everybody how you're doing over here. So what, what do right, you got? Basically with the buffalo chicken, we got chicken cutlet. We're gonna hit this with a little hot sauce. Bam, you know what I mean? Bam it up with a little hot sauce. All right. So you just basically you took a regular chicken cutlet, egg, flour, breadcrumb, fried it, chopped right. it up. Okay, right. Right. easy right. enough. So now I mean you put a little bit of hot sauce and then after the hot sauce you're gonna use a little blue cheese. A little blue cheese dressing. Yeah, a little blue cheese dressing and then okay. and then what you do is you hit it with a little more hot sauce. You got a little spoon. A little more hot sauce. A little more hot sauce. Yeah, that's really going to be good though. It's all good. good. And then you're going to mix that up. You're going to mix it up. You're going to get it all nicey nice. But you know, you look, you see, you can tell already. You definitely need a little more hot sauce. You definitely need a little more. You can't. You're going to have flames coming out. No, 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 it's not. It's not. It cools it down. Believe me. Believe you me. All right. We're going to add a little regular blue cheese in there too? Yes, we're going to put the crumb of blue cheese as well. But you notice, you see, now the blue cheese just cool down the hotness. All right, so you're doing that, I'm gonna get your rice. All right, so we got our rice. Slide this way, go this way, take over, here we go. Here's your rice. Now you're gonna do the, how you gonna do this? You're gonna do it the same way as it's the same, same way, way. The same exact way. Everything you do, fillings get filled the same way. Okay. All right, a little spoon would be nice. Switch, a little hey, spoon. Oh, a little spoon, you got your spoon. Uh, how about a big spoon? There you go. Perfect. All right. So now you're going to be stuffing those. I'm going to get another bowl while you're doing that. Go this way, baby. I'm going to put some of this over here. Now basically you're doing the same thing like you said. A little pocket, right? We need a spoon. Yeah, I need a spoon. You need a spoon for it. You got me a spoon? I got you, got you got a spoon. <laughs> but I need a spoon I thought you got me a spoon. I did get you a spoon. Did I got you a spoon? Did I get like three of them? I don't know. I don't got one. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. That's why I need a spoon. So right. now what you're going to do, it's like a pocket. You see the way the rice is formed? And then you're going to put it in there, you put as much as you want, as little as you want, and then what you want to do is you just want to get everything in the middle, you're going to get it all the way around, that's it. See what I'm nice. saying? Nice. There you go. Nice. Beautiful thing. Alright, so keep it. Hey, you got plenty of water. Now what are you doing right there? Tell everybody what you got down. Alright, well, I got a little bowl of water, because basically what you need to do is keep your hands moist, because it yes. helps keep with the right. That's it. That's basically everything you're going to do, you're going to just... Keep doing the same thing. Boom, 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 boom. Make it yeah. a little small because we got to fry them. Right, but yeah, I understand. I got you. That's beautiful. Oh. That's going to be a beautiful thing. Now, while he's doing that, I'm going to do my own take on a sausage and broccoli and our rice bowl. So, we have that same rice mixture that we did. I'm going to go a little grated cheese, right? I got my broccoli and that I just sauteed a little bit. I blanched off broccoli rob, sauteed a little bit of garlic olive oil. That's going to go there. Forget it. Oh, look at that. Forget about it. Oh, now, nice. make sure too, when you do that, you kind of drain it out a little bit. You can leave a little bit of I'm going crumbled hot sausage in there. Look at that, man. You know what? Forget oh, about it. Hot sausage is nice. I'm telling you, man. I love it. A bite. I love it. And we're going to do some. You got mozzarella over there, man? Right here, beautiful. We're going to do a little mozzarella there. Forget it. These are going to be forget. I don't know. I may have a little competition over here. Yeah, it seems like a little, little cook off here. Yeah? Uh -huh. A little Bobby Flay? Where's Bobby okay. Flay? <laughs> Yo, Bobby, come on. I challenge yeah, you. Bobby's got nothing on me and you. I'm telling you. Forget it. Well, bury him. Whoa. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say things like that. All right, so we got. We got the, I, look, people do it, it, nice, that's beautiful, that's why you can look how, you got your hands nice with the warm water, it's, it's so it's easy to glaze, it's like a glaze, yeah. literally yeah. it's like a glaze. So now, I've seen it two ways, you know, people make it, what he does a traditional way, with the butter, the egg, the grated cheese, a little salt, a little pepper, people do ricotta, to, this, to that mixture, just ricotta with no butter in it, look, whatever works for you, whatever you like, do whatever you like, but this is how we do it over here. Spinach, with spinach is, uh... Now easy. that's the one Very you do the way I do it. You do it in the middle or you put it throughout the whole rice bowl? I do it in the middle. And even if it gets on the outside, the good thing about that, you'll know it's a spinach rice bowl. Because right now you can't tell what they are. You just can't tell what they are until you come Unless you do it like that. Meek, you look at that. Oh, like that. Forget about it. What's like Christmas day? Yeah. Why are you talking about Christmas day? Because it's the spinach and what I do is I need it on and then you know. You did the spinach. Why was he even looking at the spinach? You know? Yeah, about. So this is what I'm talking about. Alright, so look, check it out. We're gonna roll our balls, we're gonna fry some off, we're gonna come back, we're gonna finish frying off our rice balls, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna eat, and we'll be right back with Sunday dinner with Chef Clemenza. Love you guys. <laughs>
JP, Johnny Rice Balls, King of the Rice Balls. We're going to cut a few open for you. We're going to show you what we did. Cut them up and see what we got. Explain to them as we go. Right. I got the broccoli knob and hot sauce. Take a look at that. Get a little close up on that. Oh, That's nice. a beautiful one. What do we got there? Ready? Watch the stretch on that. Me. Oh, this is a hot buffalo. Yeah. Hot That's buffalo hot chicken. Buffalo. Everybody grab a half of rice balls, share them, pass them around. This is the All right, guys. We're finally done. Another episode of Sunday Dinner in the Books. I want to thank my guest, JP. Thank some you beautiful Charles, balls. He made some absolutely yes. great rice Charles balls. balls All our guests, we got, we got rice balls, we got prosciutto balls, we got broccoli rob, we got hot sausage, we got the ground beef and peas in Sicilian. We got a little pasta and broccoli. We got a little eggplant roll and tini. Unreal, guys. This is what it's all about. At the end of the day, I know it's a lot of hard work you cook, but you know what? The laughs we had, the crying and the laughing, and we were hysterical before. Now we're going to sit down, we're going to drink a couple of glasses of wine, we're going to eat good. And you know what? We'll be back next week. And remember, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Amazon Fire Stick, every day 4.30 on Roku. Go to the DBNA Network, download the channel, watch us, and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Everybody dig it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for having me on today. Yeah, Thank you for having this uh, <laughs> hospitality.